Hey, get this. I was out fishing the other day, when before I knew it, I'd wound up near a Class 4 island. Once I realized what was happening, I tried to turn the ship around, but then it got dark all around me. Was it a sudden storm? I wish. It was this great monstrous bird. Damn thing had wings big enough to cover up the whole blasted sky. That sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. You think I'm lying? Then check it out for yourself. You just might not make it back alive. A huge bird. Hmm. Hey, welcome back. We just found out about another island. Haven't been able to enjoy chicken after seeing the bird creature on that island. So, we're starting to rack up these Class 4 islands, but I kind of feel like it's not time to go, go get them yet. But, soon. It's time to warm up before we set sail. We'll start with I've for size number 33. Ready? Go. Hold on. How many after sizes are there? We can't be expected to remember them all, surely. Man lover, there are 99 eye for sizes, and you're not a fully fudged crew member until you know every last one. Ugh. This island's really something. No way I'd want to go to prison here, but it'd make a great hideout. If I'm going to be left in charge of this place, I'll turn it into the best hideout ever. You're in charge? Someone has to look after this place while you're all running around, maintaining the ships in the base, watching the prince in Medissa, Keeping Kamuana company. I'll keep this place running ship shape so that you all can focus on looking for the Therians. But those are just odd jobs anyone can do. You're a navigator. Isn't that a waste of your talents? You dolt. These are important tasks. Someone's gotta do it. We've got another navigator. But is there anyone besides me that could handle all of this by themselves? Besides, ever since I lost my tail, my balance has been off. The seasickness is killing me. That's your story and you're sticking to it? Tell the truth. You don't want to come because you're afraid you'll be hurt again. Uh, no. That's not it at all. <laughs> okay, time out. Didn't we tell over here on the last episode, in the last episode, didn't Eleanor tell uh, Coffee Bean that Dial was a up on the observer deck. He's right here. Eleanor, you lie. Lying is malevolence. Malevolence is going to create ruin floppy set. You are a bad vessel. Don't worry, the hidden hideout is in safe hands with me. My friends used to call me the king of odd jobs. They also called me the king of loafing, but let's not dwell on that, shall we? Why would you don't even you don't have to tell us that part. People need to learn to shut their mouth. I'm glad to see Copy Bean is feeling better. Kids should be free to be kids, you know? Alias and Duck. This is where we're going. Why? Sour. So you've kept your sense of taste. In my dreams I have. Nowhere else. Does that make this a dream? It would have to be, wouldn't it? After all. I devoured you. That's right. Don't you go forgetting it. How could I ever forget it? The taste of your... <gasps> How could I ever? Looks like the fog's rolling in. Yep. Eleanor, there's something I want to be sure we get perfectly clear. Um, alright. What is it? Luffy said is not your little Moloch. What? That's all you wanted to say? You realize he doesn't belong to you either, right? Indeed I do. Luffy sets his own person, and not anyone else's. Y you're right. Malakim aren't just tools to be used by exorcists as they pleased. 
I'll be more careful not to forget that. Good, as long as we're on the same page. <laughs> Since we're on the subject of reminders, you haven't forgotten our little bet, have you, Velvet? You mean the 100 gold on whether I'd break? No, I haven't forgotten. A word of caution. People can fight against pain, but they can't fight against happiness. If you're keen on winning our bet, I'd steer clear of ill-fitting dreams. Sorry to break it to you, but all I have anymore are nightmares. The fox cleared. Good thing we didn't wind up getting lost in it. Of course we didn't. Who do you think is running this ship? A bunch of shameless rogues who are very good at shameless roguery. Damn straight. But it's strange. These waters don't usually see much fog. So... Did anybody else kind of get that sense that Velvet um was upset that she devoured Ceres. Like maybe she even kind of regrets it. I'll fish up something great for lunch. Just you wait. Yeah. You know, so the question is, has she grown that sense of regret over time, or did she regret it from the moment it happened and she's just been living with it? Because either way, it's kind of foreboding or ter terrible. I'm not sure. Hmm. This isn't the right season for fog in this section of the ocean. Water is the wrong temperature. We're gonna find out a bunch of stuff about... What in the world is triggering that thing popping up? I don't see it. You dead. Alright, whatever. Oh, there it is. I can see it over here, but I didn't see it over there. Yeah! Thought you'd get away from me. Hey kid, what's the band Von Bali, our ship? Isn't she a beauty? She sure is. I don't know about the name though. Aye, the captain and the skipper said it's not important since it's a false name anyway. I'm not supposed to tell them that. There are so many cats around. Some people have started calling the city Whiskerson. The battles between resident felines and fishmongers are quite the spectacle. The fog has, was awful earlier. What happens a lot around here? I'm surprised you were able to dock at all. The locals are used to it, but outsiders get into a lot of accidents. You should thank your crew. This used to be the base of operations for a rich trading family. When trouble came knocking, they were ready for it, to say the least. Wow! They must have had a lot of enemies. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it's just another town in the middle of nowhere. But even so, to us, it was the big city of our dreams. You know this area well. I grew up near here. Keep on going, and you'll run into a ball. My home village. Then, the Therian is... Yeah, somewhere in my village. Is that okay? No one will know me there. Everyone I knew, I already devoured. Yeah, we're gonna find out a lot of tough stuff for Velvet, I think. This is gonna be that coming... Not coming of age. Reckoning. This is going to be a reckoning point for her, I think. The gondola is a real marvel, isn't it? It harnesses the power of the wind to move. The wind ceaselessly blows its west, blows in west across the sea and hits the land here, you see. Too bad it's for cargo only. If you've got legs, you're stuck climbing stairs. Dang it. 
cat box cat litters. You eat so much. Come on. Where you all at? Give me your dumb cat litter. Take care that your burden doesn't crush you. In time, it shall be lifted and you will be rewarded. Yeah, I'm a winner. Is there any around here that he knows of? Life Covening Fairy. I don't even remember killing that. I do remember killing that. Frenzied Wolf. I kind of remember that one. Definitely remember that one. Totally remember that one. Okay, Moonbang. Wolf. There you go, ice caps. Land of the dancing moon. Interesting. I wonder why I didn't find it. Uh oh, I wonder where it is. Build that. Wait, what level is it? 41? I should definitely have fought it by now. Hmm. Serial killer trees of all forests. I should probably kill that one sometime soon. It's a skunk! Okay, there's a lot of them out there. I still gotta kill. All right, well, we need to find that one at some point, but we'll save it for the next time we're up in that big old area. Just to make it easier. That guy upstairs is some kind of genius. I just can't beat him. Really? I win nine times out of ten against him. Seriously? You must be one hell of a player. What are they playing? Chinese. I hope it's Chinese checkers. I freaking love Chinese checkers. I didn't get any closer to her today. If you don't watch it, you're gonna wind up food for guard dogs. Food for guard dogs? What? I've been doing this for 20 years. Reckon you can wipe the smile off my face? Nope. Mug match rules. Mug match is a slot machine like game where you match the expressions of the four mug men members. The faces of three of the four men. Will change constantly. Press A when the faces match the face on the far left. If you match all three faces within five tries, you will be awarded TL coins based on the difficulty level. The difference in their expressions are made to be easy to find, like their eyes are and mouths. There is no time limit, so take your time and watch carefully for the most easily recognizable differences. Sure. Okay. This is my new least favorite game. I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah, I'm feeling great. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> I don't like that game at all. Thank goodness mini games are so not necessary in this game. Like, I would not do well if I had to actually play that game. Like, if I had to to get some stuff from it. Van Travelers, eh? Taliesin must seem strange to you. It was once the home of a family with a penchant for making wild investments. Yeah, they built this place like a fortress in case enemies came knocking, right? Oh, you already knew that? Then I guess Taliesin is more famous than I thought. Super famous. It's the most famous city of all. He alighted in an eastern village, a hero to save the land. The demons that came to pillage felt a blade and steady hand. Ugh. <sighs> I just love the feel of the sun on my face. I'm glad the fog finally cleared up. For days it was so thick, you couldn't see past your own nose. We're lucky a demon didn't show up in all that fog. Hmm? Nisgan hasn't had much demon trouble to speak of. Didn't you know that? During the advent, towns all across Eastgand were attacked by demons. It was Lord Artorius who saved us. Ever since, 
Our towns have seen almost no demon attacks. Is that true? Oh, pardon me, Lady Exorcist. But if you're with the Abbey, surely you've heard about how things are here in Eastgand. Of course, demons are lurking about outside our towns. But for whatever reason, they don't attack us where we live. That sounds unbelievable. Everyone who visits us from abroad says the same thing. But this is neither joke nor lie. Everyone says that Lord Artorius's power lingers here, protecting our town against the demons. Whatever the reason, you're safe here. Relax and please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. We appreciate it. Why do demons avoid these towns? Yeah, it seems a little fishy. They call this the era of disaster, but doesn't feel all that yeah, doesn't feel all that disastrous living in Kaliesin. Small mercies, eh? I feel lucky to have still been born in East Camp. You're travelers, right? How are other towns doing? Is the demon blight as bad as they say? Demons are attacking cities all the world over, and the demon blight is spreading like wildfire! It's nuts! That's terrible. Living in this town, I almost forgot about the demons. There hasn't been a case of demon blight here since the advent. Nothing much has changed over the past three years. Yeah. This town's the same as it's always been. You've been here before? Many times. Really now? Wait, there is something that changed. The prickle boar meat. The prickle boar meat? Yep. It's gotten much easier to get your hands on high quality, tasty meat. The hunters are probably able to do so well because they don't have to worry about demon attacks. Well, I hope you enjoy your return to Taliesin. Have fun! A town without demons. Hmm. Could be there's a Therian at the Earth Pulse Point in Eastgan that's devouring the malevolence. What do you think? That would certainly explain things. Oh. You can't be as bad as demons, of course, but Prickle Wars is supposed to be ferocious. I hear the women of the Baal hunt them with swords. They must be very brave. They wouldn't. No, because killing Lockie was part of waking up a Nomenot, right? Not making a Therian to... I'd like to add something to my order. One smile, please. Right away, sir. That'll be 1,000 gold. But that's extortion. And that's why I don't try that line. When I go to the restaurants, I never ask for a smile. I actually prefer frowns, and that way I can complain to the manager. Oh dear, the sheets are off by a quarter inch. Please hold on just a little while longer. Give me my bed! No, I'm kidding. Man, we're gonna find something terrible. I'm already worried now. I worried, of course, I mean... Oh, damn! Eh. I forgot today was the day Nico was coming. I missed out on buying that special quiche. <sighs> That's too bad. I wish she'd just open up a shop here. You'd think it would be easier than always having to make the long trek from a ball. I heard she doesn't want to leave the village because she's waiting for her missing friend to return. What are you talking about? A ball's nothing but a ruin! What? Well, you're a morbid young woman. Sure, the place was hit pretty bad by a demon a few years ago, but it's not like it's abandoned. Many of the villagers were hurt, but thanks to Lord Artorius, nearly all of them survived in the end. That can't be... It certainly is. In fact, there's a girl from there, Nico, who comes here once a week to sell things. Just yesterday, my husband sent medicine to the general store there and got some juicy prickle boar meat in return. That can't be right. I... With my own hand, I... Velvet? Oh, oh my oh, goodness! That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> you know what's going on, I think. And I'm probably wrong, because I always am, but I think. What's going on is that what she thought was killing everybody, she actually ate the malevolence, and they do come back to life. Now. Velvet said a ball was wiped off the map, but it sounds like someone's been coming from there with things to sell. 
Do you think a new group of settlers moved in? Apparently that merchant Nico is someone Velvet knows. She said something about Artorias having saved the village. Do you think it had something to do with the Earth Pulse Point? I can't say. We've heard too many conflicting things. This feels wrong to me. Really, really wrong. We won't find the truth by wandering blindly in the dark. The path forward is our only way. Right. It's not like we can turn back. But Miss Mogulu, what if there's darkness ahead too? Then we'll take a nice nap together. Forever, probably. Oh. Oh man, <laughs> I don't want to know what's going on now. I hate that I have to wait two minutes for me to get to that part of the story, but I'm going to wait because I want to get through the rest of this. The food that Nico brings to sell each week is all wonderful. If she started up her own shop, she'd be rich in a jibby. Although I think most young men would visit for the sake of their hearts rather than their stomachs. After all, she's a pretty cheerful girl, so who can blame them? Sounds like Nico, that we know from the beginning of the game. If you really think a ball is gone, you should go and look for yourself. Yeah, I think I'm going to be doing that. Thank you very much for that information, because that's... Um, I want to go find the rest of these talking points. Because there is some... Biscuits going down now. Bisc you know what? There's some biscuits and gravy going down now, and I want to find out about it. Is this going to be a thing? Should I just make biscuits and gravy a thing? I don't know. I used to say unholy waffles. Like when I was shocked, I still say that sometimes. And Rival played me when I was super excited. Maybe I'll just add biscuits and gravy to be my like third thing. I don't know. The cats here live with a within the hierarchy, just like dogs. High places are reserved for cats with higher status, and they always sit in the same order on the staircase. So much for cats having it easy. It's time for a Taliesin quiz. Answer this. How many steps are there in a city and a port combined? Huh? Um, more than 100, right? Wrong. The correct answer is... I won't go to such steps to answer a silly quiz. Did you think I was serious? Yeah. Boy. You know what this little city reminds me of? Did you guys ever... Ever play? Do any of you guys play currently? I don't want to say ever, because it's a concurrent game. Um... Over Overwatch? You know, the Blizzard shooter game? This reminds me of that one Greek Isle map. Very, very much of that. Ask me what this town's known for. Answer, stairs. Yeah, I've never seen this many stairs before in my life. You're close to the sea and the weather is beautiful and everything, but doesn't all this climbing make life here hard? Not at all. I walked the stairs here since I was a child. A little climb like this is nothing. Everyone raised here has a strong set of legs and a sturdy back. You couldn't turn a profit selling back medicine here. No way, no how. But could you make a profit selling Dr. Scholl's? Stairs are the secret to it. Taliesin's help. If you drop an apple from the top of them, just fetching it will make you healthy enough to cry. Dr. Scholz wants you to walk up and down all these thousands of stairs. Feel good about it. Walking stairs takes a beating on your back, so wear Dr. Scholz insoles. Where's that? Are you gelling like Magellan with Dr. Scholz gelling insoles? I don't know. But yeah, you know that map in Overwatch? That's, that festival over in a ball sure was fun, wasn't it? It sure was. What a cheerful and happy place. And the food was amazing. I'd love to go back sometime. I loved the prickle boar meatballs. Nico's quiche was so good. It was a master quiche. This Nico must be a great cook. I'd love to try this master quiche. <laughs> Where did you learn a joke like that? Anyway, Taliesin's Fisherman Festival is coming up soon. We've got to show the folks from a ball a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna help my uncle catch lots of tasty fish for the festival. What do you think you'll catch? Uh, pickled mackerel, tuna rolls, oh, and duck stew. <laughs> Those are all the names of dishes, silly. And a duck isn't a fish, it's a bird. I swear, you don't think of anything but food. Nico's quiche. 
Nico's quiche is the thing that she wanted um, Bella to teach her because it was actually her sister's quiche, right? That she used to make for Arturius, and that was like the whole thing was we were going to make quiche for Arturius. Or whatever. I'm sure everyone knows it, but Lord Shepherd Arturius used to live here in Eastcan. A few years ago, during the advent, he saved a ball and Taliesin from the demons. In other words, the shepherd's quest to save the world started here. That's something to be proud of. No, it's not. Wait a minute. Yes, it is. No. Wait. I'm not sure anymore. Now I'm very confused. This is such a tough town to grow up in. All the nooks and back alleys make games like hide and seek and tag ridiculously hard. I'm already bushed and I've only just started playing. You should be wearing Dr. Scholl's comforting insoles. These stairs would be no match for you. Hey, sis, I'm in the mood for something tart. Could you make something with lemon in it? You can bake some lemon tarts. Tart tarts, they be. Is that the kind of thing you had in mind? So, right. Like, in Overwatch, there's a map where you play in, like, this Greek isle on the side of the cliff. Uh, villa on the side of, like, a cliff, and there's, like, a big well hole in the middle that you can fall into that you, like the contest point that you fight over. Excuse me, have you seen a white cat with a black left four paw around? Hmm, there are so many cats around here, it's hard to keep track. I see, well, my patient, the aforementioned cat, ran off when I tried to administer some medicine. Hey, come on home, Julianus, Julius Catstantius III, he must be a veterinarian. I bet, eh? And, uh, and then there's also the one where you fight, like, same kind of area, and then you have to fight over the little plaza thing. So, I don't know. This, that's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of those maps. Being dorky again, sorry. No, a ball is... Hmm? Going to a ball, are you? It's east side of town, along the Perrion cliffsides. Blah, blah, blah. We pass through the Morgana woods along the way, though, so make sure you're well supplied. You hardly need to tell me that. Yeah, because I grew up here, dummy. I, I know everything. Take a look at this. All right. Now it's up to you. That was about the worst response I've ever had from those. Scout ship setting sail. One win and some sugar. Feel like a champion now. How did I miss one? Where's it at? There he is. Good day. How are you liking Taliesin? I bet you're surprised not to see any exorcists. Yeah. I've never been to a town like this. The exorcists stationed in Eastgand often leave to help deal with problems in other parts of the world. Then again, few are stationed here to begin with. Are they on another of those expeditions now? That's right. They're currently in Northgand, helping put down a group of dangerous demons. Even though they're gone, we still have regular exorcist patrols stop by. We feel safe enough with them. Maybe they should just move the capital to East Gand. Of course, I know there's no way that would happen. <laughs> this is just so wrong. This is between you and me, but if the demons were all gone, the exorcists would be the ones to fear. Being able to manipulate Malachim isn't normal. Uh, remember, I didn't hear anything yet from me, right? But I completely agree. Hey look, I don't need Dr. Scholl's when I'm surfing. Alright, let's find out what's going on out there. We'll just have to go there and see for ourselves. Which way is your village? It's far to the east, through the Morgana Woods. I wonder what Velvet's hometown is like. A ball? I've heard about it from other sailors, although that was a long time ago. They said it's a fairly plain place, and it's home to rustic, hospitable folk. That sounds like any country village to me! I wonder if Velvet used to be rustic and hospitable. Oh, you mean to say she's devious and rude now? N not at all. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. It's pretty much the truth. Well... I imagine she was a plain, hard-working girl. Hmm? You really believe that? Call it a guess, really. I bet she was a cheerful, loving sister. Maybe so. Hmm. And now she's the Lord of Calamity. 
If she sees her former friends, maybe she'll remember some of what she's lost. But what has she lost? That's actually a really interesting question now, because if a ball's still alive, what if... I don't even want to go. I don't... There's so, there's so many questions, but unfortunately it's too far away now. It's not like right next door. So, we're going to have to stop here and see the forest ahead. We're going to go through that in the next episode, and we're going to find out what the crap's going on, because it's kind of scary. I'm a little freaked out right now. I did not... Of all the things I expected coming back to her home base or whatever, I did not expect that, so it should be good. Stay tuned for the next one, and let's see if we can find some stuff out. Thank you guys for watching.